Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got an old Victoria that we are going to try to turn into something pretty cool. So follow along, subscribe, like us on Facebook. Let's get this party started. All right, so the first step we got to do is just kind of go through this, show you what we have, and what our thoughts are of making this into. So. First we've got a nice old horn that goes up in to our Victrolia. We have some of the parts, some of the cool parts here. So we'll clean these up, bring them back to life. Um, we're missing some of the internal pieces, but that's okay for the idea that we have for this. Over here, we have quite a few, what is that, five drawers? Little drawers that would hold the records. And then on the side here, we have a single drawer. So what our plan is, is to keep the horn, keep everything original, except in here, we're going to take this piece out and we're going to make a phone horn. So it'll connect to your cell phone, it'll all look original, but you'll put your cell phone in there and a tube will run down and create the sound out of here. So let's see if we can make this work and bring this piece back to life. Now disclaimer. We are going to be damaging this piece. This isn't going to go back to original, so if that's going to offend you, probably shouldn't watch the rest of this video. <laughs> okay, so we pulled the piece out. Behind here, we have most of the components. Everything seems to be working nice and freely here. We'll take this apart, give it a nice clean up here, so everything still will continue to work nicely. And then we'll get this all cleaned up, keeping everything basically the same as it is now. Let's take a look inside here. So we have our horn going all the way out to the front here. We'll have to modify by cutting a little hole here to create our path for our iPhone or Android phone, whatever you want to use, into the cone to come out. So. A little modification, but nothing too bad. Won't see any of it. Okay, so <laughs> what we're gonna do is make the actual vinyl record player piece here. We're gonna get rid of the metal one so we can actually put the insert in here. Not damaging any of the original parts so far, so we're still doing good. I've created my circle using my compass here. 12 inch piece, uh, it's popular wood. I've glued two seven and a half inches together uh, overnight, let those dry, and then I've turned them because I want the grain pattern uh, opposite on the bottom and to create the lines separate. So we got it all lined up, we got it all traced up. Now what we can do is use our skill saw and cut this out rough and then we can go start going from there. Okay, before I take off the last clamp here, what I've done is I've marked three sides here with different emblems. So when I take these pieces apart, I can put it back together and have the exact same um, lines that I had before. And then once we get this all set up, we can start sanding this and getting it prepped correctly. So let's get started. All right, so I apologize right up front here. The battery died, I didn't know it and uh, I continued on with my project. So let's kind of get you caught up here. The so last video I believe is probably me cutting this out. So what we've done is we've taken those two pieces, the top piece we've cut where our uh, phone can sit in, and on the back piece here we've created our hole for the channel. Inside here we've got it plumbed with just a pipe going down into the horn here in the back. It can't be seen. Um, and this will hide over the top. So this will be our new record player look. We're going to sand it some more. We'll stain it. Um, but we've already glued it together and started sanding a rough sand on it just to give it its shape. So that's pretty cool looking. So now what we can do is put our attention and focus towards sanding the outside of this piece, doing the drawers. So I think our design is going to be we're going to stain these, we're going to paint the frame white, 
uh, inside, we started our sand just to see how it was going to come out. We may try to stain this, we may paint it, not quite sure what direction we're going to head yet, but that'll be pretty cool. So, let's get the drawers out. The doors are already taken off. We're going to cut the doors, um, the, the design inside, since the, the actual design is all jacked up, and beat up, and pretty much unsalvageable for the amount of work and time that I want to put into it. So, do all that. We can start sanding and then we can start painting. So let's get started today. All right, so what we've done is we're cutting out the center. We've done one, we're gonna do the other now. a lot to sand here. Doesn't look like a big piece, but there is a lot of components here. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to sand the drawers down, get these smoothed out, these pieces will get restained, and then we'll start working our way around on the body of this piece. So, let's get started. started. I've got a white, pure white. <laughs> I got my two supervisors to make sure all of my job is done correctly. We got it sanded down. We got it vacuumed out. We got it wiped down. Now we're ready to apply that paint. And I guess we got two stars that want to be in this video. So let's get started on paint. We're going to do the accessory pieces. Then we'll start working on the bad boy there behind us. So let's get started.
going to do is just do a little antique scuff to it. Uh, it'll help get this door to close a little bit nicer and give it a little bit of a worn in look, which is something we want. So, got a 120 grit sandpaper, and we're just going to lightly scuff. tools, bigger tools, and we're cleaning up all the chrome and everything like that, sanding, smoothing, degreasing everything. So let's get started on it. It is time to start waxing. So, completed old console that we modernized if you have one of these well you can use this so let me show you how we work it we got our music put it right in here and we increase the sound through here pretty cool idea now outside of that we've got all the old drawers still intact 
all stained dark walnut. And we've got our cool little drawer on the side. If you like this piece of many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll keep doing cool projects like this.